On this episode of Spinebuster TV, Alexander Roth and Tyler Owens return and are in triple threat action against the debuting babyface killer, Alex Vaughn. Maya Matthews and Karama face off in another Spinebuster TV talent showcase. Joey Cement returns to Spinebuster TV and hosts the Joey Cement Open Challenge. The internet's hottest wrestling product. It's time for Spinebuster TV. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spinebuster TV. It's time for some triple threat action and this young man has his eyes on some gold. Yes, he does. Ladies and gentlemen, like I've said, triple threat action. I'm Aaron Nix, joined by Ray Liverkusen and Brad Matthews. Are you guys ready for triple threat action here at Spinebuster TV? Oh, hell yeah. Yes, indeed. This is one of the unsung talents in, in British wrestling, Tyler Owens, he is next level. Yeah, absolutely, Tyler Owens is uh, just begging to be discovered really, isn't he, Brad Matthews? I'll tell you what, after this, I don't think there's going to be too many questions, but here's another man who, for many, is very, very underrated, and that's what makes this triple threat extremely special for these two young men, Alex Vaughn on Spinebuster TV once again. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Owens has an undefeated streak to live up to here at Spybuster and it looks like there's going to be a, a little bit of afters and Tyler Owens by the way he's got a chip on his shoulder because ultimately he wants competition he even reached out to Sky Smithson looking for competition and was uh, given an answer that Brad Matthews would probably enjoy very much when she said who are you yeah yeah disrespect shown by by Sky Smithson a veteran of the UK scene well, Brad, you say he's undiscovered, but ultimately, um, you know, he deserves more, according to you, but Scott Spencer doesn't think so. But I'll tell you who does have him in their crosshairs. The Wolf of Brawl Street, Mr. Multiversal himself, Alexander Roth, a member of the H7. And when you talk about experience, you got to think this man is a heavy favorite in a matchup like this. 100%. This guy's been up and down the country yes. in singles action, tag action, multi man action. Yeah, Alexander Roth is what I like to refer to as a five tall player, somebody who gets it done on every single level. He's not impressed. And also, Alexander Roth likes to have fun, but when he gets in the ring, it is all business. And man, Alex Vaughn, I'll tell you what, look at Tyler Owens, he's staring a hole through. Alex Vaughan right now. There's a lot of respect for Alexander Roth, and rightfully so, with what he's been able to achieve in this business. One of the best professional wrestlers walking this up, and he looks prepped and ready to go. Triple threat rules, though, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, you don't have to be involved in the pinfall decision. How does that factor into your game plan, Rain, in a triple threat match? Triple threat action. I haven't been in many triple threats, but... Ooh. Oh, wow. Alex Vaughan with absolutely no respect for either of these men, and that looks like he could have been a mistake. Mistake early on in this matchup. Very big mistake. Wow, Tyler Owens, of course, probably the slightest man in this matchup, but he still hits like a freight train. And it looks like Alexander Roth is going to lead Tyler Owens in a symphony of destruction on the back of Alex Vaughan. My God, and oh, looks like a little bit of posturing between these two and Alexander Roth almost, um, almost playing coach really to Tyler Owens. Take it easy, young man. Let's take it at your pace. And oh boy, Alex Ford is firing up. And Alex Ford is not exactly a rookie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my oh, god, boy. a super kick on the button. And Alexander Roth cuts him off of the fast before he even gets a chance. How about that, kid? Ken, exactly what he deserves. You step to the 8 7. That's exactly what happens. Educate feet in your face. Alexander Roth, the utility player, the hybrid wrestler. That's when the ball. gorgeous drop kick AJ Styles nice. S behavior from Alexander Roth who can do it all but Alex Ford comes in nothing but raw power there taking Roth off of his feet in a stiff kick right to the side of the temple they're going to rearrange a few of those beautiful beads on the head of Alexander Roth and now it's Tyler Owens and Alex Ford getting involved beautiful power Tyler Owens and a stiff climbs like right in the corner 
Tyler Owens is a real throwback in many ways. Beautiful missile dropkick off the second row going for the cover on Alex Ford and just a two. Did you see that cover? He put all of that weight down on that on that right shoulder, on that left shoulder of Vaughan. And you, you mentioned about what do you need to beautifully wow. so What do you need to do in a triple threat? Like this, you need to keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, the absolutely. Like we've said, you don't have to be factored into the decision, but at the same time, it is very difficult to create enough separation to get a pinfall. You saw with Alex, Alexander Roth just a moment ago with that sense of now. Alex Vaughan sits Tyler into him and a back body drop from Alex Vaughan and now it's on a stiff right hand, a boot to Alexander Roth. Alex Vaughan is in full control of this triple threat right now and Chris Harding does know which way to look. The action is thick and fast here at Spine Buster TV, ladies and gentlemen. Combination Bulldog Lariat from Alex Vaughan. Beautiful double offense and that's something that will definitely favor you in a triple threat matchup. And now he's like going to choke the life out of him. And oh, referee Chris Harding with a very lenient five count there afforded yeah, yeah, Alex Vaughan yeah. a lot of opportunity to choke the life out of Alexander Roth and Tyler Owen. So, oh, oh, man. Stiff collision. Alexander Vaughan's doing what you need to do. Like, yeah, absolutely. To, 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 in, let's be real, a, a triple threat is technically no disqualification. He can choke him as much as he likes, and you've got to do what you've got to do to win. That's very true, to be fair, and that's why Chris Harding is, of course, not exercising much of the five count, because ultimately it doesn't matter. A step right hand from Alex Vaughan, who is technically a dead, but he's really showing off his brawling side here, Brad Matthews. Do you think brawling is absolutely essential in a triple threat match? You, you can brawl if that's your forte. You, you basically need to make sure, if you can, you can get one person out of the way and so focus your attack on the other, just like he's doing, like he's doing now. Tyler Owens is out of the picture. Put yeah, Tyler Owens out on the outside right now, and Alexander Roth is being gouged at. He's being damn near manipulated by Alex Vaughan, and a knife edge chop in the corner to the Wolf of Brawl Street. Alexander Roth is set flying into that top turnbuckle, and that's going to nod out the back rain. And, uh, oh, I thought he's going to fly it back right there, but beautiful technique. And Tyler Owens is back in, and Alex Vaughan taking a little bit too long to employ a cover there, allowing Tyler Owens the opportunity to break up the cover. He sends him sprawling to the outside. There's no mats out there, there's no coverage. He just went splat against the hardwood floor. Hey, if I was in a triple threat, that's exactly what I'd be doing. I don't want a third man involved. I want it one-on-one -on -one action, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, you have a better opportunity of capturing oh, yeah. a win. Oh, uh, what? That's so unnecessary. Come on. Uh, not according to Brad Matthews. You just seem extremely excited to see that kind of behavior, Brad. You do what you've got to do to win. I like this. Yeah. Now, what, what, what I love to see as well, like, look at the bodies of these men. They are covered in red marks and bruises. They are absolutely battering each other, and Rain, like you, you're you're hard hitting as well. Like, is this what you like to see? I like to see hard hitting. I don't like to see this like, unnecessary choking on the ropes. It's not skillful. There's no, um, there's absolutely no skill in it whatsoever. Right to play devil's advocate, but like Brad Matthew said, triple threat does mean no disqualification, ladies and gentlemen. And needless to say, Alex Vaughan is happy to bend the rules to suit, and he's been in control pretty much from the get go. But at the moment, oh wow, and Alexander. Roth sent to the outside, but he puts the brakes on, and now just a stiff right hand, and a beautiful <laughs> yes, that's what I like to see. Gory. Oh, wow, a stiff right hand to Tyler Owens. Stay out of this, kid. Beautiful <laughs> outside in springboard cutter from Alexander Roth. Oh, look, okay, he's been up ahead of Steven. Oh, wow, really unorthodox tope suicida from Alexander Roth there. That was like a diving back elbow. That yeah, was cool. It was. it was beautiful. Very great, Teddy. Not that I would expect anything less. Oh, <laughs> my God, a lethal injection from Alexander Roth. That beautiful springboard cutter out of corner. But Alex Vaughan, once again, triple threat rules, paying dividends for Alex Vaughan there. I'll tell you what, Alec Vaughan's been been pretty dominant in this match. You might not like his tactics, Rain. I do, and they are working. Yeah, Alex Vaughan. Um, I mean, Rain. It has to be said, Alex Vaughan's paying dividends right now. Very competitive, very vicious in his mentality. He is vicious, but come on. <laughs> Look at that fire oh, that rocks off. Beautiful straight on. fighter mentality. Yes. Alexander Roth. 
bringing the Shoyukin to the business. And now, oh wow, just stocks on the clothesline, looking to employ a sleeper of oh, sorts there. Almost the transmission from Alex Ford. And Alexander Roth with a go behind. Oh wow, stiff kick. Tyler Owens has not been able to build any momentum in this matchup up until this point. Now, Alex Vaughan looking to take him up to the top rope, and this is not a position Tyler wants to be in, and that's when he's created separation. And a super kick from Alex Vaughan doesn't get all of it on Alexander Roth, enough to send him back in, and now potentially looking for a superplex perhaps. And, oh wow, look at that elevation. Alexander Roth six feet in the air with that insecurity oh. to the bow. Oh, look out, could get the Tower of Doom. Is it gonna be a Tower of Doom? Oh my God, with the powerbomb variation. Alexander Roth firing on all cylinders has just flattened both opponents and now he's looking to ascend to the top row for a frog splash 87. This is it. Uh, is that going to be enough? And Alex Vaughan, almost out of pain, just able to get his shoulder up. And Alexander Roth recognizing that there's another pin attempt on Tyler Owens. It's still just a two count. How about the elevation on that frog splash 87 from Alexander Roth? Every single bit of the athlete we've come to expect from the Wolf of Wall Street, Mr. Multiversal. He loves Those eyes. gold. And I'll tell you what, if you win a triple threat match like this, then there is more gold on hand. And Tyler Owens coming into this match, wanting competition from Sky Spitzer. He's getting all he can handle from these two right now. Stiff super kick. Oh, look out. Alex Volman, the fireman's carry. Tyler Owens, even a counter. And a crossroads. Tyler Owens has just flattened Alex Vaughn and he's got him. And Tyler Owens continues his undefeated streak. That was interesting. D does Sky Smithson use the crossroads? He does. I mean, Sky Smithson most definitely. I mean, you know, interesting. Do you think that Tyler Owens is potentially sending a statement there? Using the Smithson effect? She could be. Well, she said, who are you to Tyler Owens? Well, yeah. I think she knows who he is now, you know? On the TV, Sky. You want to know who I am? That's who I am. Tyler Owens. And that's what I do every time. You see that. He's now put off to the camera, no doubt. No more disrespect for Tyler Owens. A fantastic win. Some might argue he might have had his undefeated streak in jeopardy, but he's able to get out of dodge, and he's eyeing up that gold. Do you really want to wind up Sky Smithson, though? I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea, but we're going to find out. Oh, oh wait a minute! And exactly, we're going to find out right now! Sky Smithson is not going to take kindly to the Smithson effect. Rain Liverkus and Sky Smithson is teeing off on Tyler Owens on the stage. This is exactly what Sky does. I'll tell you what, though, Brad Matthews has to be argued. Tyler Owens brought this on himself by goading Sky Smithson by using the Smithson effect in the middle of the ring. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. You mess around, you find out, and Sky is is, is letting him. It, he, she's telling him exactly what she thinks of him while she's beating him up. You wanted to antagonise me. Well done, brother. You have now pissed off the wrong villainess. Wow, the villainess, Sky Smithson, with a statement made at the expense of Tyler Owens. Tyler. You wanted my attention, you got it. You wanna play these stupid little games, doing my moves to win your matches? Well done. Congratulations, you got my damn attention. And now, you are gonna feel the full wrath of the villainess. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, the winner, Joseph Connors, because that's what I do. And Millie, I fought better here. But as you prove time and time again, no matter how skilled you are inside the squared circle, you're not willing to take it seriously. You're not willing to take me seriously. And that is always going to be your downfall. And when I surround myself with serious athletes, serious contenders like Riley Nova and Brady Phillips, Bradford Better is going to do what it always will do and be the most dominant force in wrestling history. Two weeks ago, Nina Samuels battered my leg with a steel chair. I had to go straight to A&E where they sent me for an x-ray and we found that I had a shattered sesamoid bone with a lack of blood supply to it so it wouldn't heal. Um, I had to have emergency surgery that night and they had to remove the bone and clear all the damage that was left inside. 
I was able to go home the next day, but life at home is really hard. I need help going to the bathroom, I need help getting in and out of the bath, I can't get myself dressed on my own, I can't cook, I can't even get myself a glass of water, I can't put any weight on my foot <laughs> at all. I really appreciate everybody's kind words and messages because it's made an emotionally, mentally, physically tough week feel a lot easier. But I'm angry. I'm angry that Nina Samuels thought that she could try and end my career, that she could send me to the hospital because she didn't want to share the spotlight with a few rookies. <laughs> I am going to recover. I am going to be better and be stronger and I will come back. You need to watch your back, Nina Samuels, because there will be nowhere to run and nowhere to hide when I do. And I am going to show you why jade is worth more than gold. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spike Buster TV with Aaron Nix, Ray Leverkusen and Brad Matthews in the announced position. It is time for another magnificent showcase of women's professional wrestling and we start out with Maya Matthews arriving at Spine Buster TV Ray Leverkusen a huge opportunity here on tap for Maya Matthews to show what she's capable of oh 100% I mean Maya Matthews is great she's been working at Rev Pro regularly one of the biggest promoters in the UK Purpose Wrestling she's been everywhere at the moment and she's about to come and see what she brings to uh, Spine Buster Media TV yes indeed Spine Buster TV well, Maya Matthews is an incredible, incredible athlete. She's going to have an opportunity to prove herself here. But as Nina Samuels said last time out on Spinebuster TV, this show needs more Nina, not needs more rookies. Well, I'll tell you what, rookies don't come more talented than Karama. Brad Matthews, your assessment of what Nina Samuels said in retaliation to this showcase matchup. I'm not going to say that a show doesn't need more Nina, because it absolutely does, but let's be fair, these, these as, as, as Nina describes them rookies, have got a lot to prove, and I think it's, it's fair enough that they get this opportunity. Let's see what they can do. Yes, indeed, and Karama is already making a hell of a statement on the professional wrestling scene. Of course, trained out of the vaunted WAW Academy, but Maya Matthews is not going to be phased by that. Rain Leverkusen, two of the best young women's athletes in the game today, looking to make a statement here at Spinebuster TV. Oh, 100%. They've got a lot to prove for women's wrestling, and I think they're, they're going to prove it today. Yeah, there's a handshake of respect there. Karama's definitely going to have the power advantage here in this matchup, but Maya Matthews is not to be trifled with. Extremely hard hand, a very capable technical wrestler in our own right. Stiff collar over time. Once again, Karama asserting her dominance early on in this matchup. Rain Leverkusen, what are you looking for in particular out of these two women in this showcase matchup? To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to be looking for. I mean, they look pretty even right now. I'm sorry about the uh, hunger of competition, if nothing else. Exactly. As we said, they've got a lot to prove, so there is that hunger. Oh. Yeah, you saw it right there from Maya Matthews giving Karama the run about a two count off of that flying crossbody. As Maya Matthews looks to quicken the pace, and Karama is going to look to ground her with that aggressive nature that only the Knight family can deliver, Brad Matthews. But you see right there that... Um, that Maya tried to, to, to Irish whip, uh, but, but the size was, was, was the size differential was too high. There was too much power. Nice reversal. Oh, nice beautiful, kick. Beautiful, beautiful one. They can drop kick Karama a bit up ahead of steam using the momentum. That's why they run the ropes, ladies and gentlemen, to build up with them and a beautiful suplex from Karama, who looks to assert her power and high advantage over Maya Matthews. Just a two count, says referee Oscar Hardy, one of the best in the game, in the position for the count. And now Karama is looking to ground and and pound and looking to go magma with that neck claw on Maya Matthews. Switching from a, it looked like it looked like she had a traps or a nerve hold. Now switching to a, a sleeper. Yeah, that nerve hold, of course, incredibly famous back in the 70s and 80s. Something that was utilised very, very often in old school professional wrestling and shoot wrestling, catch can style. Maya Matthews knows a thing or two about catch can, but 
Karama using her power to full effect with a vicious clothesline, just flattening Maya Matthews in mid air. What has Maya Matthews got to do, Rain Leverkusen, to distract Karama from the power game? Oh, she's got to, she's got to have that fire, you know. They they say that uh, Maya Matthews has that fire. She has that drive. Has that passion. She has that fighting spirit. Oh, does she need every bit of it? Because that base cutter from Karama has just driven her head right into the canvas and her two can. And Maya Matthews looks to be in extreme discomfort, and rightfully so, after Karama came crashing down with that cutter into the canvas. A very low base cutter there, Brad Matthews, but extremely effective. Well, yeah, when you've got a when you've got a size a size advantage over your opponent, and if you can use all of your body weight in that, then then you're going to do it. And it's interesting that uh, the Matthews has got taped fists. So, like, is, is she going to use that to her advantage? With Maya Matthews into the corner and a huge power oh, slam oh. coming out of the corner. The velocity of Maya Matthews as she just crashed once again into the canvas. And Karama's power is paying extreme dividends up until this point. But Maya Matthews has had another shotgun drop kick into the corner. There comes she is. flying there out. Is that fighting spirit I was talking about. Yeah, you know exactly what you're talking about, Rain Leverkusen. And we're seeing this fighting spirit the speed the pace has quickened Maya Matthews utilizing that educated feet looking for a snap there Karam able to use that power to get out but Maya Matthews underneath a close on and a sling blade just absolutely flattens Karama catches a flush in the middle of the ring and you can see the rage the heart the desire pouring out of Maya Matthews right now something you must love to see Rain I love to see it a signature Maya Matthews with that sling blade I've, I know that move way too many times from her Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't seen my Matthews before, you are in for an absolute treat. You should have seen her. Well, there's no excuse now. Oh, my God. An absolute gut buster. A long blower of sorts from Karama. has just flattened my Matthews. Think about that. All that weight driving the air out of your lungs, burying your knees in the back of the chest. What does that feel like, Rain? I'm telling you. I am telling the people who are watching this match right now, it does not feel nice to have knees driven into your spine. I'm telling you. No, and Karama so young in this business at such a young age. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful athleticism. But I'll tell you what, Maya Matthews had it scouted in a huge cut out of nowhere. She's still on feet. Maya Matthews, discus forearm right on the chin. And Karama looks to be out right against the rope for the referee counts. And Karama is out. And Maya Matthews picks up the win in emphatic fashion. What a vicious there are striking combinations of Maya Matthews quicker than a hiccup, like a lightning strike, puts Karama down. Well, an extremely impassioned and physical matchup, ladies and gentlemen, here at Spinebuster TV. And Maya Matthews checking on Karama, who rightfully so was rocked by that vicious discus forearm. Karama and Maya Matthews showing a bit of love to each other. Oh, look out, Nina! Oh, no. Nina Samuels is arrived. Oh my god! A steel chair shot right across the back. And wow, Nina Samuels' mean streak has exploded and needs more. Nina has come flying out of the blocks. And apparently, it wasn't just words, Rain. It looks like actions are going to pay dividends. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, that's not a good look. You cannot. Don't even think about no. doing that. Nina Samuels has trapped a steel chair around Karama's neck. You're going to crush her windpipe. Somebody needs to stop that. And she stamped on the steel chair. Oh and my God. God, Nina Samuels has made a statement at the expense of Karama by crushing her trachea around that steel chair. That's what happens when you disrespect Nina Samuels. Well, Needs More Nina has turned real, real ugly here. And Nina Samuels, I understand wanting a spotlight, but my God, Karama is going to need extreme medical attention after that. A violent and vicious attack. And Karama's neck was crushed by that steel chair, Ray Leverkusen. Heinous, heinous and reprehensible. Have you ever been thrown to the side before? Well, I was thrown to the side by Dave Briggs. But I would do anything, anything to show them that I can be the person they need me to be. I knew you got to chat with Dave. You need to make things up with Dave. I've got your back, brother. And I suppose I'll see you in the ring. I think he's put up a chair over there. I think he's expecting Dave to come today. I mean, he's, he's looking for Dave right now. Yeah, text with Dave is not here at the moment. He's looking for that approval from Dave Breaks, and I think if Oscar doesn't pick up the win, Dave is going to kick him to the curb forever. 
And look how it looks like uh, we might have the arrival finally. And his textbook day breaks. He's making his way to ringside here. Consider this my application! Oh my god, a discus lariat just absolutely takes Oscar's head off. This is exactly why we're not a team. You're not Tetra, baby. You are nothing and will never be a team. Harrison Bennett is not going to stand here and allow Tex for Day Breaks to take advantage of this young man. Oscar Prospero it seems will stoop to any level to gain the approval of textbook day breaks. Harrison Bennett was just trying to look out for him and he betrayed him. Not good enough. Spinebuster Media is committed to keeping our content on YouTube and not behind a paywall. This is for your enjoyment and to create a platform for up-and-coming talent to show what they are truly capable of. We do not receive any funding or help financially when it comes to this project. If you enjoy what you watch, please consider donating via the Superfangs on this video. All money we receive from Superfangs goes towards creating more content and more matches for this channel. Thank you very much for supporting Spine Buster Media. Let's take a look back at a Spine Buster TV instant classic. A hard hitting affair between Chantel Jordan and Jay Joshua. Oh, look out. Joey Cement. 
main event, Joey Cement is back as Five Buster TV. Brad Matthews, I have a good for it. You are a very big fan of this young man. I love Joey Cement. He is one of the rising stars of British wrestling. Despite his, despite his young age, he's been around for a while. He's been honing his craft. And this is a perfect opportunity for the lad. Yeah, Joey Cement looks like, well, Joey Cement's got a live mic for the ladies German. They can have a Drop the music! Thing. Now, last series on Spinebuster TV, I lost everything. I lost a team that I'd built by myself. I'd lost every single match. I'd even lost the feeling in my pinky finger when it was broken. But this series, this season, I refuse to lose. This is why today I am hosting the Joey Cement Open to Everyone and Anyone Open Challenge. So whoever's in the back, get yourselves out here and let's see if you're on the level of Main Event Cement. Well, main event cement is throwing out a challenge here at Spinebuster TV for this series. Brad Matthews, you're liking the confidence out of this young man. He feels he could take anyone on this roster. Yeah, this this young lad has got a has got a lot of fight. He's got a lot of hunger. He's got he's got a lot of good tricks up his sleeve. Whoever whoever is going to take up this challenge, I'm sure Joey will be able to, to dispatch. Oh, oh man, Ray Leverkusen, look who's answered Cement's oh, challenge. Yes. He said open twice. Maybe he's about to be opened up twice by Sean Tell Jordan, the bad girl. She is going to stretch and flex. And she, yeah, Joey Cement is already backing up. Sean Tell yeah, is liking the look at the smile on Sean Tell's face. It's like she's just spotted the last chicken wing of the last supper and somebody's about to get some serious punishment. He had some cocky words and now he's going to answer for him, isn't he? He did. He opened his mouth and now we're going to see if he can cash that check or not. And Joey Cement looks a little bit perplexed. I don't think he was expecting the bad girl Chantel Jordan to oh, look out. Hold on, have we got another person? We have. Brad Matthews, you'll recognise that music very well. Oh, of course. Textbook Dave breaks one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. Yeah, this open challenge has just gone from bad to worse for Joey Sabin. Oh, boy. Wow, so this is going to be a triple oh, threat then, look it looks who, like Wow, it. look who's joining. Oh. Textbook Dave Break. Some daddy issues going on here with Oscar Prospero. He is the ringside once again, looking to impress his mentor. Whatever you want to call him, there's probably much worse things going on in the YouTube comments right now, ladies and gentlemen. But textbook Dave Breaks has arrived, and boy, has he got. Oh, wow, look at He's caught Joey Smith, of course. Quite a bit of history going on on Spinebuster TV between these two. And if you've never seen textbook before, if you like your technical wrestling, if you want to see someone get tied up in knots, textbook. Dave Breaks will do that. Yeah, the only thing that isn't pure about him is his mouth, Rain Leverkusen. <laughs> exactly. He's not looking very good for Joey Cement, is he? You've got Dave Breaks and Chantel. And and so, oh, look out. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, Oscar Prospero's face tells you everything you need to know. I mean, it's just going from bad to worse. Joey Cement with the open, open challenge. And it looks like we got another individual joining. And this time it's... Oh my god, Harrison Bennett is back in us. I tell you what, he's looking for a little bit of afters. Seems to be zoned in on it. Oh, look out, Oscar Prospero is going to pay for that low blow from earlier this season. And oh my god, Textbook Day Breaks using that distraction to his advantage. Look at Joey Smith begging off with Textbook after everything that's gone on between the two. And Man, Oscar Prospero once again. There is no level he won't stoop to to impress Daddy, isn't that right? Hello. Chantel Jordan is going to have it all to do now. Oh, look at this. Joey Savin and Texas with Dave Briggs looking to isolate Chantel Jordan while Harrison Bennett is currently disabled on the ring apron. And oh my god, knife edge just. Oh boy, you're in big trouble. She's trying to put him now. to sleep. Yeah, she, yes, he did. Oh, text with Dave Breaks grabbing the hair from behind and a huge scoop slam to Chantel Jordan. And now Joey Semen is going to take advantage like a rat down a drain pipe. And oh, and text with Dave Breaks. Oh, yeah, he hasn't forgotten exactly. 
textbook day breaks, of course, with the alliance, the former alliance with Joey. They need to watch Cement. out. Oh, look how. And Joey Cement took one for the team there, didn't he? He almost rescued day breaks. And Harris and Bennett hits harder than a Mack truck. And he's doing just that. And he's looking to shut the textbook right now as he whips him into the corner. It looks like a little bit of an alliance forming here. You'd think it was a tag team match if you just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen. Harrison Bennett and Chantel Jordan taking opportunities. Volley in the corners. Oh, my God. Chantel Jordan just sweep the leg out of Texas. Great they break. teamwork. I love it. Malfunction at the junction. Oh, and Oscar Prospero looking to check. On his mental. Oh, now look at here we go. Harrison Bennett, that unorthodox, beautiful style of technical wrestling. And look at him and Chantel Jordan. Look at that trade. Oh, beautiful. Chantel Jordan had it scouting. Beautiful roundhouse kick. More combat is in full effect. As Chantel Jordan gets taken up and over to the rail. Oh, look at Joey Cement from behind here. And Joey Cement. Once it, oh boy, I'll tell you what, he wants to be very careful because at some point Chantel Jordan's going to get her hands on him proper. Harrison Bennett just sweeping the leg out with that beautiful shot control, getting into the leg and just up and over the velocity of how Harrison Bennett works at a stiff super kick right to the side of the dome, Rain Leverkusen. This match is crazy so far. Oh my oh. god, outside in with that double stomp to the back of the neck, and Joey Cement looks like he's out cold. He looks like a salmon that's been plucked from the river right now and poor Joey Cement is absolutely on his feet look at the eyes are glazed over and oh man well, Harrison Bennett was looking to take out Joey Cement and now yeah textbook they breaks distracting Harrison Bennett Oscar Prospero on the outside as well looking to protect what is near and dear to him and Joey Cement is taking advantage of that distraction Looks like uh, the alliance has reformed, at least for now, between Joey Cement and Textbook Dave Brakes. And it's Textbook baby season on Harrison Bennett, who once again finds himself drawing the ire and the numbers game. He's paying dividends. My God, that is a, that's nothing fancy about that. It's not even a shoulder tackle. It's a straight hip butt into the stomach and a stiff rising knee lift. Textbook behavior. Are you surprised at the uh, lack of technical ability from day break so far. I, oh my word. That's a violent knee strike. We'll get to it in a minute. Potentially, oh, Joey Cement able to, you know, is that a little bit of malfunction there once again between former tag team friends and Joey hey, But Cement. this isn't a tag team match, is no, it? It's, it's a fatal four way. Yeah, it's, it's one full to a finish, ladies and gentlemen. And oh man, and Harrison Bennett utilizing the opportunity as these two are arguing amongst themselves. A couple of very big egos looking to be dismantled here as Harrison Bennett just stiffs the hell out of textbook with that vicious discus forearm right on the chin and Oscar Prospero rightfully so is highly concerned. Oh my god, did you see the counter there as Joey Smith was bringing the boot up and now flying into Gurry from Harrison Bennett. Caught Joey Smith flush and now a beautiful Enzo Gurry once again and Harrison Bennett as comfortable as he on the ground as he is in the sky. Oh, Harrison, Harrison Bennett is, is, is taking everything that Joey and Dave are, are, are dishing out to him. Uh, fair play. Yeah, looking for a Tiger. Super big double underhook with the That's bridge. A ref. That is exactly what you'd expect. That is textbook from the man himself living up to his name. And once again, Joey Cement surveying the land, not really understanding. Oh, boy. Let's see what textbook day breaks. I mean... Doesn't seem to be interested. Oh, oh my God! Vicious what knife edge drop. That is absolutely vicious. And textbook day breaks is essentially saying, "Take a step back, kid. Watch how I do business. That's why I'm the leader of the pack." And this unholy alliance continues to pay dividends to a certain degree. And now Joey Smith looking at direct traffic. Harrison Bennett pulled the ropes down. Counters Joey Smith with a key. Now another forearm and a man how many forearms do you think he can take before he's dismantled by Harrison Bennett who is just teeing off right now knife edge chop against the ropes and a suicide to pay and Dave breaks sacrificed Oscar Prospera there rain stiff kick from Joey Samir once again Harrison Bennett the numbers game and they just Chicken keep wing attack. coming this is, he puts everyone away with this yes indeed Bob Backler this behavior from textbook Baby, but Harrison better had his get. Oh, look at that beautiful oh, moment! Oh my God, what damn near beheaded Harrison Bennett. 
Oh, now text with Dave Ray. Oh, now all of a sudden he's on the same edge. Shot at Jordan. He's back in the game. Yes, with a flying she is. Off, body off the top row. We fought. Shot at Jordan. Oh my God. Step. Yes, Roundhouse kicks. Ray Leverkusen is loving what she sees here and Chantel Jordan fires up, looking to represent the culture here. And a flying European up in the corner and another stiff one delivered to Joey Smith, sweeps his legs out. Straight up badassery. Yeah, beautiful badass drop kick right into the Hit chest. Straight underneath, takes but Dave breaks at a rising knee lift. That foot called knee almost out of it. Ooh. Look how the game by that fisherman's driver. Chartel Jordan with a cover on takes but Dave breaks and Joey Cement is able to. Joey Cement once again is able Gunther's, to get involved. Going for his finishing move, pushing Yes, he is. Oh my god, he was looking for it. Chartel Jordan with that roundhouse kick. Wait a minute, Oscar Prospero has just dragged Chartel Jordan now. And while that's no, going no, no, on, no. takes but Dave breaks a stolen one. And it's absolutely robbed this match from right under Chantel Jordan's nose, getting a pin on Joey Cement. What the hell is this man's deal? That was Chantel's for the win. Every Matthews. person for himself. And Oscar Prospero did exactly what he, well, I would assume, doing exactly what he wanted to do by getting textbooks approval. Well, you may not like oh. it, but you have to hold oh, look out. Now, Chantel Jordan has had enough of Oscar Prospero sticking his nose into her business, and she's going to make him pay. And Tex McDay breaks. He's just standing there. Oh, just deal with it, Chantel. Now. Oh, no, look yes. out. Oh, no, Chantel no. had her back turned, and Tex McDay breaks, and Oscar Prospero looking at, oh, wait a minute, but Jake Joshua is here to even the odds. And sends Tex McDay breaks, and Oscar Prospero running to the outside. It's none of it, none of Jay Joshua's business. Jay Joshua ultimately coming in at even the odds. She's got, I mean, Chantel Jordan and Jay Joshua built a lot of respect off of the back of each other in their competitive affairs. And now, Jay Joshua, Jay Joshua is here to back up Chantel Jordan, Rain Leverkusen. You must be happy to see Jay Joshua at this juncture. Oh, of course I am. I'm happy to see Jay Joshua defending Chantel Jordan. Yeah, you dread to think exactly what might have happened if Chantel Jordan was left to the walls. And Oscar Prospero and Dave Breaks take high ground and we're left with the pairing of Jay Joshua and Chantel Jordan.